guys. So I had a conversation with my publicist because once again, once again, I'm in trouble again. I'm always in trouble. I'm always, I'm always in trouble. I'm always a narratives. I'm always something. I'm always, I'm always everything, bro. Like I'm always everything. Like this is why, this is why, like, I don't know if y'all noticed from the beginning of my career to now. Like, this is why I don't like talking. This is why I don't like interacting. This is why I don't like going to award shows. This is why I don't like doing interviews anymore. I can't even host anymore. Like, first, I got I got offered to host this party with Playboy. And I, and I really didn't. I was scared to do it because it's like I have, I have a vision for my, my first Playboy party. But I don't even want to do it anything anymore bro i don't want to do anything unless i'm going to a hood strip club because this shit is insane this shit is insane I, this is my thing right why can't a nigga like steve harvey go on his show and make all these type of jokes and it's funny this and that i make one joke at a i'm as a hostess because i'm hosting i'm hosting a party and it just gets Twisted. Why can't every celebrity joke around and say slick shit and say fuck shit? But when I say it, it gets blown out of content. It gets blown out of content. The blogs, the blogs gaslight me and post little clips and be like, but we post positive things about you, this, this, and that. But I don't I don't see when when other celebrities do jokey jokes and do certain shit, it's like they brush it off. But let Cardi, it's like it's like I be so scared to do any type of moves, bro. I be so scared to do any type of moves. This is why this is why when I deleted my social media, I swear to God, if it wasn't for Facebook, because I have a Facebook show, I wasn't even going to fucking put it back up. This is why I don't like going to award shows. This is why I don't like to do interviews. This is why I don't like to say anything. Like, I have I have developed this thing called anxiety because I'm scared. I'm tired. A bitch is tired. And I didn't really want to... I, I, I don't want to be the type of person to be like, oh, Cardi, you always complain about everything. But do y'all see how I could have an amazing day, an amazing night with no drama, no bullshit, everything goes right. And for some reason, it's like a devil. Like, it's like a devil. Like, it's just like, it's just always something. Like, it's like, this is why I don't want to be famous. This is why I don't like to hang out. This is why I don't want to be anywhere. This shit is insane. This is why I just want to be locked with my fucking hood bitches. This is why I just want to be going to my hood friend house to smoke hookah and fucking drink motherfucking Coronas because once I do these big events, it's like it's like all lies on me. I gotta watch everything I gotta say. I gotta this, I gotta that. Then I have to wake up with mad calls about oh Cardi, we're in trouble. This isn't that, blah blah. It's so un guys, I, I really feel like I'm a prisoner of fame. Like fame has turned me into a prisoner. I'm not myself anymore. I can't be myself anymore. This is like this is oh, I hate fame. Oh my gosh. When when if y'all ever make a wish if, if have you ever like at on 1111 make a wish and you guys be like I wish I was rich and famous. Don't wish to be famous, bro. Wish to be rich. Y'all don't want fame. Once you be in fame, once you become famous, you you not you can't be yourself. You can't joke, you can't say it's nothing, you can smack nobody, you can this and that, you can't correct nobody, you can't do nothing, you can't do nothing, you can make jokes, you can't even host a party and say what you wanna motherfucking say. You bitch, you can't do anything. I'm really a prisoner of fucking fame. Fame, 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 fame. I don't even have a voice anymore. I can't have a voice anymore. I can't say anything. I can't. I can't. I can't. I swear to God, if it wasn't for this fucking Facebook show, I would delete all my social medias right now because I'm so tired. I don't understand how I could go to an event and be like, I'm going to be on my best behavior. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then, boom, the next day, the internet is like, let me find something. Let me find something. Everybody could joke around, but once Cardi joke around, bitch... Or whatever. But you know what? I'm, if I, one thing about me is I'm a Libra. I'll be mad about something for an hour. Then a couple hours later, whatever. After I pick up my daughter from school, um, 
and my and my mom wake up and everything, I'm gonna go to my friend's house and I'm gonna go fucking chill because this is I can't. I hate fame. I hate being famous. I hate it. I hate I hate it. I I really f- hate it. Let me tell you something. If y'all ever wish to be rich and famous, don't wish to be famous. Don't wish to be famous. Wish to be rich. Yeah, y'all, y'all see me these couple of days, right? Y'all see that I've been partying, going to the club with my nigga, everything, blah blah blah. Y'all see that I've been in a good mood. Once I step out, once I start doing anything that has to do with anything that will go on social media, it's always, always bad. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I hate it. Why me? Why me? I feel like God cursed me with fame. Dead ass. Dead fucking ass. God really cursed me with fame because fame is just like, oh, God. Oh, I hate it here. Like, if I could click my fucking feet three times and go back to fucking 2013 when I was just a regular bitch dancing and making money every single night, that's where I want to be. That's when I was me. Not not even 2016. That's when I was me. This whole go by the book stuff, gotta watch what you say, gotta watch what you do. This is not me, bro. This is just this is ridiculous. I don't even understand how how I always get in trouble. I feel like I'm always in trouble. I feel like I'm I'm a celebrity that always be in the principal's office, bro. Oh goodness gracious. Like, do y'all, do y'all understand? Have y'all ever been, I don't know if y'all, it was y'all, but me, I was always that kid that like, in school, that I'd be like, today I'm gonna behave good, I'm gonna behave good, I'm gonna behave good. And for some reason, you end up in trouble and you always end up in the principal, the supervisor's office. That's how I feel when it comes to fame. Like, no matter what I do and how good I try to behave, I always end up in the principal's office. That's how I feel about fame, bro. Because it's like, this. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I just hope you guys have a good day. And thank you guys. Bye.